I want this cake to be so freaking beautiful that somebody, at least one person, sheds a real tear. I definitely want people to cry when they see this cake. I want them to cry. If I don't get at least one tear, I'm gonna choke somebody. And when Liza goes through her list of demands, the baker just might oblige her with a tear or two of her own. I've seen some of the cakes that had like the C around it, so that maybe we could have a little bit of a C. Two dolphins or two marlins, but I like dolphins. A mermaid, and one of those little lights that you could pl plug into the cake. And it looks like there's people in the like castle. A, like a crystal. You can make the C on the bottom, you know, and then put the mermaid there, so maybe she's saying hello, you know, something like that. As intriguing as Liza's aquatic fantasy cake sounds, maybe it's just a tad unrealistic in the four-day time frame. We don't got too much time for, for well, a big, big thing. Bianca told me that you have so many years of doing like real big elaborate cakes, so I don't see how it would be too difficult for you to do. Yeah. I know it's a lot of pressure, but you know, I think you could do it, right? I don't know for sure if I'm gonna make the cake. And she wants huge cake. And there's another factor to consider. How much is something like that going to cost? Uh, 600. I don't got that kind of money to, to pay 600 bucks for a cake. OK, and how is that my problem? $600 pays my rent. This is the cake that I want. I am a princess. I need a cake that looks like a castle, and you're going to buy it. Well, I don't know what you're going to do, but I'm not paying 600 Oh, yeah, that's you messed up. What do that for? Yourself. That's so up. You know what? Just pain in the ass. Where's the bathroom? <laughs>